Just a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace, the place to go to if you want to set up your own domain, website or online store. Okay, time for a little bit of an unboxing and this time my mic fell off. Yes, anyway, I like syrup. No, not that kind of syrup, this kind of syrup, the stuff you use for your video, although technically you can use maple syrup for your video if you want to. It'll just end up a bit of a sticky mess. Let's unbox some stuff. Ooh, it looks like those kind of, um, it's like the disposable wonder wonder where you get at posh spas. Yes, anyway. Syrup, known for their sliders. The magic carpet doesn't actually involve any carpets, not even a rug. Ironically. <laughs> does it really have to do that clickiness? I guess it does. Righty, let's open the rest of it. Medium track, which is like a short or long track, but medium. Here we go. Ooh, that is nice and smooth. <laughs> Nearly went straight off the other end. Okay, let's lock that in place. Just looking at the sky, it does look like it's going to absolutely cack it down in a minute. So let's get this done quickish. So there we are, all set up. That was pretty easy. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. That's pretty much all in the flywheel. You can see the flywheel working there. That is a heavy bit of metal right there. Heavy metal. That's a pretty robust thing. I could probably do this. Okay, not much use unless you're not tall enough to reach the urinals, but it is useful for something else. Smooth. It's like smooth skippy. The old one is like the crunchy stuff. And that's it. It's a slider. The Syrup Magic Carpet Pro is just a really well put together slidey thing, but also the design is well thought out too. And with the genie on board and cable coming out of his butt, I don't remember it working like that in Aladdin, linked to the camera, it rides the carpet like a boss, even on a steep incline, like one of those stair lifts your granny uses. Nothing truly amazing. I mean, it uses high tech string. If you want truly amazing, try the slingshot, which I first got to see some time ago in Atlantis, apparently. The product, well, it looks like somebody went crazy with the crazy string inside of a backpack. That's what the slingshot is. It's not exactly straightforward to set up, which is why four of us went along. We're here with Scott, Uncle Ted, Nehoma, Patrick, Hi, or. And we're doing something laps. We're doing a lapse of ki some kind. What, what should we call it? I don't know. The thing is called a slingshot. How about a prolapse? So what's going to happen? I'm going to mount a camera up here on this thing, and it's going to zip line from this tree over to that one over there. It's protected. We don't want to damage any trees. Naturally, the good friends that we are, we're helping out. Yep. Good teamwork, man. Good. <laughs> Actually takes quite a long time to set up, doesn't it? Yes. At least one hour to one and a half hour for set, set up. Luckily us buddies were there to provide support. This is great fun. Well, I don't think Patrick actually considers us his friends anymore, for some reason. Ideally, two people with a brain each should set it up together, but PJB and myself had to make do. Anyway, we managed to find a wall to mount it to. It's just on the other side that there weren't many objects to mount it to. We'll just mount it to that. <laughs> we wanted to get to the bottom of our problem, so we had an emergency brainstorming meeting. Paul moved really fast, pulled his pants up, thankfully, and set something up. So now Paul has done his job. He wants to make it clear that he did the setup. Now it's time for Asian Guy to do the techie geeky stuff. In the end, however, it simply wasn't stable enough, which is a nice way of saying it was a bit crap. But the one problem with this setup is that it takes more than one man to set up. Well, that's a lie because Patrick's setting up by himself right now. The thing is, once you've got the task of setting it up done properly out of the way, the software, the app, makes it so easy to get that time lapse from a tree that you always wanted to get. It's so clever. Mine's just blown all over the place. 
Nah, seriously, it's a special use setup. I wouldn't recommend you splash 2k on it if you don't know if you really need one or not. But if you're not sure about it, then there's a cheap option that you could try. It's this. Alright, so this is the Wirral Light. And it is very lightweight. But that can only be a good thing because light and weight means lightweight setup. Okay, instruction manual. This is one of those Kickstarter funded product things and it's just like the slingshot in that it travels through the air between two mountable objects via a piece of string. The difference here is that, apart from being cheaper, it's much easier to set up. It holds up to 1.5 kilograms but let's not chuck anything expensive and heavy on it yet. But there is one thing, I mean, it's just one piece of string. There's no way that you can't get wobble. This is surely going to wobble at least a little bit. I mean, even when I'm just moving this about, it's wobbling left, left to right. So if you're using carol without stabilisation, it's bound to look a little bit shaky. I'll test out some more, but it's a neat idea for not a lot of cash. And in terms of motorised slider things, there are options. The Edel Crone, fantastic app and design, but too small. Eye footage, smooth, extends easy, app, not great. Which brings me back to Syrup's MCP. It's not particularly cheap, it's not exciting, but it's smooth. You can extend it as far as you can afford, it's built well, and the best bit is that the app is probably one of the best around. And that's really all you need in the slider, nothing fancy, no frills, just something that's easy to use and functions well. One last shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you ever want to build a website, it's the perfect place to go. It makes things easy, even for idiots like myself, because it's got templates and it's got such an easy user interface. So yeah, if you want to build a website, please do check them out. Thank you. With a load of templates to choose from, award-winning 24-7 customer service, a simple way of changing domain names over. I did it. It's great for people who want to create a personal website or one for e-commerce. You can start a free trial today and get 10% off your first purchase with the code KAI.